So for decades, we have been using mouth rinses and presenting mouth rinses, and the best ones are those based on chlorhexidine and CPC to help us in controlling uh, bacterial biofilms around teeth. So we were able to improve uh, periodontal health and we were able to uh, help in the prevention of periodontal diseases. Today, and together with this impact that we know, we have understood that they may reduce the presence of uh, viruses in persons that have been infected. So that could also help us in promoting health. We should not forget that the main focus or the main objective of these malviruses is controlling uh, bacteria within dental biofilms. But the, the, the telling, evidence is telling us that it may help us also in controlling viruses. This is a simple means of reducing the risk of uh, the virus in the saliva. And, uh, well, there's products like, for instance, like chlorhexidine and CPC, which have antibacterial and antiviral um, properties. So I think it would be good to have your patient rinse in advance before performing an aerosol generating procedure. I think we can distinguish between pharmacological, pharmacological measures and non-pharmacological measures. When it comes to pharmacological measures, I think the new vaccines adapted to present variants will be very important. Um, these vaccines should be more effective against um, the BA5 variant of Omicron, for instance. But <clears throat> since new variants will, variants will always evolve, it is also important to keep in mind the non-pharmacological measures like social distancing if necessary, triages, or facial masks and mouth lenses. I think this is a very worthwhile preventive measure because we know from, from clinical trials that there is definitely an effect on the bacterial load and also maybe on viral load when it comes to herpes viruses or influenza viruses. And the recent clinical data also gives hints that um, there may be some effect towards SARS-CoV-2. So pre-procedural mouse rinsing can help at preventing transmission of infectious diseases and um, maybe even more worthwhile than using antiseptics for like, for instance, imperial treatment or so.